So welcome back guys to another episode. So in this episode we will be creating some some uh, sounds for the game or rather import some sounds and use them in the game and we will also create a flashlight as per requested by a user. Um, it's, it's a really simple thing to do but, but um, let's implement that as well. So so anyways last time we created some uh, some orbs and those worked all nice and everything and uh, yeah we do have our monster as well chasing us in the maze so that is cool there is perfect so let's start off by create the the flashlight so head into the player script or or rather the player scene and on the camera pivot we will create a new uh, directional light we will want to create. We will create a not an omni light. What's the light's name? Spotlight. Yeah, that's it. And let's lower the spotlight so it's right around his hands. And we will as well um, set the angle to around let's say 30. And let's run it. And now we have a simple flashlight and let's make the player be able to toggle it as well so head on to under project settings under input map let's say toggle flashlight and scroll down to the toggle flashlight and uh, press key space and ok and hit close and once that is done let's head into the player script and let's just if input is action just pressed toggle flashlight let's just set the spotlight visible to not spotlight visible and they will this will just uh, set the spotlight to the opposite value of what it's already is so if it's visible we'll set to not visible and if it's not visible it will be set to not not visible which is which is visible and let's play it and see if it works and there is a simple flashlight Cool. So next up, we will create some audio for the player. So we we'll start off by create a audio stream player, and this will be for the footsteps. And before we do all that, we need to import the audio, of course. So under res, hit new folder, and let's say assets. Under assets, let's create a new folder called audio or sound. Ah, let's say audio. And I will import some sounds that are just lying around somewhere. Uh, where is it? Music. Yeah, there it is. So let's just drag these in. And these are the sounds from my previous project. Uh, and this will be uploaded to GitHub as well. So so make sure to download those or go into freesound.org and, uh, and get your own sounds. So once this is done, let's start off by create a uh, make them uh, be able to loop. So make sure you enable looping on the sounds that we want to loop. So the footsteps, the breathing, the main theme, sonar ping and whisper, all of these will we want uh, we won't be able to loop so uh, whoops let's see if we can do this one more time uh, sonar ping whisper main theme loop reimport okay so now these are not set to loop I don't even know why uh, okay so anyways uh, hit uh, select one of those hit loop and reimport and I think you can set under, yeah, set as default for this reimport. And let's just reimport the rest of those as well. I don't even know. Do I have to reimport them separately? Yeah, I might do that. Let's do that. So this you you're not able you're not supposed to do it this way. You can make them all uh, reimport them all. I don't even know why. Okay, so all of those are set to loop. Perfect. Back to where we left off. So head into player, scene, and this 
audio stream player, Let, let's rename it to uh, footsteps and let's create another one called re uh, uh, of course this will be an audio stream player and we rename it to breathing so for the footsteps let's just give it the footstep sound and for the breathing we will give it the breathing sound and for the breathing sound we will just enable it to set this the autoplay to on and for the footsteps we will do some uh, something else under the player script let's make some room uh, let's create a uh, footsteps let's create a reference to the footsteps node and under we have, we have to create another variable so walking which is already done for us I don't even know when but this variable we will create okay that we will be using and so we need to toggle the 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 sound when we are walking and we were not walking okay so we have to first check if we're walking uh, and we can set the walking variables to true if input movement vector dot x not equal zero or input movement vector dot y not equal zero then we are walking else we're not walking cool so if we're walking and um, what do we name it to? We name it to footsteps. Okay. And footsteps is playing, uh, not playing. We will footsteps dot play. And if we're not walking and footsteps playing, we will stop it. Simple as that. Let's play it and see how it goes. So we can hear our breathing uh, sound, right? I hope we can do it as well. And if we walk, if we stop it, yeah. So now we're able to toggle the walk sound as well. Cool. So let's head into level and create a new audio stream player on the level node. Uh, ambient sound and for ambient sound we will give the ambient ghost OGG and I think this is loud as hell oh, we need to autoplay it of course yeah so it's it's loud as hell so let's lower it to around 40 minus on the decimal I think that is pretty good yeah, let's leave it at that. So now to the orbs. So let's head into the orb scene. And we will not create an audio stream player for the orbs. We will create an audio stream player 3D. And this is an, this is just a sound in 3D space. So let's give it the, uh, the sonar ping sound. And let's set the max distance of the sound to, let's say, 8. And, and what this does is, it's, it's just a sound in 3D space, so if we're too far away from the node, we won't hear anything. And if we're, the closer we get to the, to the, to the origin of the sound, the, the louder it will be. And we'll also, we will also be able to tell from what direction the sound is coming from. So let's play it and try it out. And of course, once again, we need to make it autoplay. Let's remove the closest one. So as you can see, we have a sound, uh, we have an orb right over there. Let's let's uh, get close to it. And as you can as you can hear, we can start hear the pinging noise. Ping, ping. Let's get closer. And of course, this is the sound that we will be using uh, to find the the different orbs in the in the maze. And there is our monster. So let's give the monster sound as well. So head into monster, control shift O, monster, 
and let's give him an audio stream player 3D as well and this will be his whisper and let's give it the whisper sound and let's give him a max distance of 10 so now I think we will able to hear the no we will not be able to hear it because we need to play or oh, set it to autoplay now we can hear uh, when when the monster appro approaches us let's head over to this wall and as you can hear the monster is getting closer to us yeah it's right around the corner hello perfect so i think that is it so we created a flashlight and we um, we got some sound and music working again. And I think that that has to be it for this episode. So in the next one we will uh, do some, some, uh, something else. Maybe create a menu or something. I don't even know. Until then, peace out.